My parents have a comedy speciality act, and my dad being a, Ch a Charlie Chaplin impersonator, and my mum is this rag doll in a box. Myself and my sister used to travel with um, my parents to various theatres around the country. Uh, and we used to watch them from the side of the stage or out front of the theatres. I think it's either born into you or not, and I've always loved that type of environment. Hi, I'm Richard Wiseman. I devised and presented the Inexplicable Act series here at the Welcome Collection. And in this video, we're looking at the remarkable skills of Delia de Sol. Now, Delia is one of the UK's top contortionists. She can bend her body into amazingly impossible looking positions. And what we were interested in is how she can do that. What's the science behind her act? Scientists have investigated uh, contortionists. This is a series of photos by uh, uh, Mybridge, uh, who's interested in uh, anatomy. This chap is a forward bender, and uh, he has the uh, ability to, uh, to bend forwards. Uh, and Delia, who we'll be uh, seeing in a few minutes' time, is a, is a back bender, so her bend comes from the lower back uh, here. Now, there's various ideas about how contortionists are able to perform their impossible act. One idea is their skeletons are very different to most people's. The actual shape of their bones is such they can bend into these impossible shapes. The other possibility is it's all to do with the ligaments, the soft tissues which are connecting the bones together. So to find out what was going on, we asked Delia to have a rather special MRI scan. We placed her inside what's called an open core magnet and asked her to perform some impossible back bends. The day we went into the MRI scan, I was really interested actually because I've never really um, looked at my body in a technical way other than purely performing. So it was really interesting just to see how, how it works and also the reactions of everybody else in the hospital to see what they would say. Uh, first of all, I went in and I sort of leant back as far as I possibly could and <laughs> <laughs> this is me, uh, there we go. and when Delia did the same thing, you get uh, a far more dramatic picture. When we looked at the scans, we could see all the action was in the ligaments, the soft tissue that holds the bones together. So there's nothing special about her skeleton, it's all about the way in which her bones are connected. For genetic reasons, uh, she has got far more stretchy ligaments than most people. But she's also trained really hard. So from about the age of eight, she's been bending into these impossible shapes, pulling those ligaments to make them as flexible as possible. So the reason that contortionists can perform the impossible is all to do with the ligaments, the soft tissue holding the bones together. Their skeletons are absolutely identical to your skeleton and to my skeleton. And I thought it'd be kind of fun uh, for you to assess how bendy you are before you see uh, Delia. And the way we're going to do that is with the standard bendiness scale. Um, so what you do, and I'm not going to ask you to uh, dress up like this, uh, but um, <laughs> basically you don't, don't need to do this one, but you just sort of give yourself uh, one point if you can do this, if you can place your hands flat on the floor without bending your knees. So don't, don't do it, uh, but you'll know whether you can. Then, and you can try this, um, you just uh, hold your hand out, or sorry, hold your arm out, and see whether the elbow will bend backwards. Okay, if you've got backwards bend, you give yourself a point on each arm. We'll move on to the next part of the test, one point for each knee that will bend backwards. So carefully, straighten uh, legs. And again, you'll probably know. This is the fun one. Okay, don't hurt yourself, okay? <laughs> or the person next to you. It's whether your thumb can go back and touch the forearm. Another two points, one for each hand for that. And finally, one point if you can bend your little finger back past 90 degrees without it snapping. <laughs> so, so you'll end up with a score. You'll end up with a score between zero and nine. Uh, most people are between zero, one, two, and maybe three. That's the, the lower end where most people uh, are. Four or five, six, that's a, a kind of towards hypermobility, but not fully there. Uh, seven is, is, again, you know, creeping up there, but for hypermobility, you're talking about eight and nine, and almost every contortionist scores eight or nine on this, this scale. So you now know whether you have a potential to be a contortionist. And if you're up an eight and nine, it's just that you're not practicing. That's all it is. It's as, as simple uh, as that. I don't think it feels strange. It just feels... It just doesn't hurt at all. It's like a, it's like a numbing feeling, really. Are you running the risk of damaging your body with arthritis? Mm. I don't. Th 
That's the question for Richard. Really. Yeah. I don't think no, the evidence is the opposite. Yeah. That, really? that actually, yes, yeah, um, contortion is providing you're not doing the extreme back bend, and, and there's very recent finding about the wearing away of the spine. Uh, actually, the, the extremely fit individuals, and, and so uh, Delia, for the most part, is, is holding her body together with muscle, uh, and, and so that's that's kind of a good thing in terms of, of, of health. So yes, the, the studies show that actually it's it's a good thing to be doing, and there are those kind of late to life arthritis problems. If I am performing on a stage, then I get adrenaline, and the adrenaline really helps to become more flexible, more than you would ever think. So if I was warming up backstage. I was to do a particular trick and then go on the stage, the extreme of the flexibility on the stage would be a lot further than it would be in the, in the dressing room. If the audience are close, obviously they've got a really close view of everything you're doing, so you, make, you want to make sure that everything you're doing is perfect. If I can't see the audience um, and it's black, it's better. For me, it just feels more mystical and just a, li a little bit like I'm in my own world. And that's the science behind Delia de Sol and the amazing, unusual anatomy of the contortionist. <laughs>